I'm Sam from Mower Magic and today we're going to put together an SLGT3 large garden utility card. So around me is everything you should have in your box. So we'll just quickly go over it now. So you've got the main flatbed, you've got the axles and you've got the brace for the handle. So you should have the handle as well. Four wheels, obviously. Fabric liner for the inside. Two side panels, two end panels and then a little blister pack with all your fixings. Now, you can just use an adjustable spanner for this. I just find it easier to work with a socket wrench. I do also have an adjustable spanner as well, and I've just got a pair of pliers too that we'll just need when we get to the wheels. So, first, I'm gonna put the axles onto the flatbed. So, like I said, I'm just gonna pop the axles on now. So, this end is the front, this is the back, the front axle, as you can see, just has that one bolt hole through it. Now, open up step one of your blister pack. I've already done that. And you'll just need the big flat black washer. That goes on first. And then the axle like that. And then the rear axle just goes straight on like so. Now, the rest of step one, we've got a 24 mil nylock nut and a, a larger washer. That goes on there. And that nut goes there. Tighten that up in a second. And then the remaining two washers and the remaining two 22 mil nuts, like so. Just want to make sure that you don't do up the front one too tight because you do want to be able to turn your cart so just adjust that if you have done that up too tight next we're just going to put on the brace for the handle onto the front axle so for that we just need the bits from part two of our blister pack Should be two nuts on two bolts with two flat washers. Just take those off. Okay, so just pop the bolts straight through here. Line it up and just put that in place. Pop on the washers. For these, I'm using my 17 mil socket. Also just gonna use the adjustable spanner to hold one side while I wrench up the other side. After we've done that, we'll start putting the wheels on. So we're just going to pop the wheels on now. It's probably easiest to pop the cart on its side to do this, or you can do it while it's still laid down. So we're just going to need the bits from part three of the blister pack. So for each wheel, you need a washer, which you pop on first. And you slide the wheel onto the axle. Now slide it on with this part going into the axle. Because the other way around, you won't be able to see little hole on here that you then push your split, through, split pin through. Just do that. And then all we need to do is just bend our pin so that it's in securely. You can do this by hand or you can use pliers to do so. Once you put on all four wheels, we just need to put the handle on. 
So just put the handle on. We just need the bits out of part four of the blister pack. So you've got your 24 mil nut, your washer, and this large bolt. So all we do, just line up the handle holes, other way around. And then we just do up this nut. So just like with the steering axle, we don't need to have it as tight as we possibly can, because we want there to be some flex still in the handle as you. So now that the main assembly is done, we just need to turn it over and put the sides and the ends on. So we'll just do that now quickly. So with the side panels and the end panels, there's no need for any tools, they just push fit in. They're not handed either, so either end panel can go on either end, and either side panel can go on either side. So, just take the two tabs here, line them up with their respective holes, and then pop them up straight. I find it easiest to do an end, and then a side, and then they'll support each other while you do the other ones. When you're putting the side onto the end, just take your catch there and make sure this catch here lines up nice with the, and nicely with it. Pop that down and then that's secure and we can just quickly do the rest. And then the last thing we're going to do is put on the liner. Just lay the liner out on the side like this. Fold it out so you've got each corner in each corner. And then just work your way around, securing the tabs to the poppers. The tabs just go through the mesh into the poppers. Now, what I find easiest to do is to feed the tab just through the mesh and then connect it with the popper inside. That's how you get the most secure connection. So we'll just do that all the way around. And there we go, assembly is complete. I will just show you one more thing about the handle and that's just how to operate the tow bar mechanism. So the handle of the XL GT3 can easily be converted into a tow hitch for any tow bar that's got a pin connection. So we do that just by taking out the R clips from these pins, removing the pins and then turning it like that we put one pin in down here to hold that in place and then the other one connect this to whatever you're towing it with you're towing it with then pop through the other pin and the outlet. <laughs>